Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are. Welcome back to Kenya Finland Archive Stories. And today, as per the title, I'm going to share a story about how her best friend got her fired. So this is a story of a friend, of a friend uh, who I knew back in the days we were still um, students in the university doing all types of odd jobs to get by and by that I mean housekeeping, uh, hotel cleaning to be very specific and so one of our good friends had already been hired in one of the big uh, group of hotels as a cleaner. So she used to work there Monday to Friday and uh, she was actually in her final year so she did not have so many units to attend so she was able to um, work full time and uh, Monday to Friday she would work sometimes over the weekend if there was too much work but uh, mostly Monday to Friday she had a uh, okay salary since the expenses were quite low for someone who was paying um, rent in students uh, apartment so it was pretty much easy it was uh, fun and uh, we used to look at her and someone who was um, quite rich and why we used to think she was quite rich and the job used to pay well is because every weekend she used to host parties so I don't know what you guys uh, see every time you see a mini bar or what mini bars in hotels bring into your mind uh, but every time I see a mini bar in a hotel, it reminds me of this girl. And uh, I should tell you very <laughs> shortly how um, it, this uh, connects. But yeah, every time I go into a hotel anywhere, it doesn't matter. Um, I always remember this girl, you know, because, <laughs> oh, young and stupid. Yeah. So, anyway cut into the chest this girl used to go and um, uh, you know when you're the cleaner you're also the one who's supposed to check the minibar and uh, refill so what that means also is you're given the minibar um, items to take with your trolley when you're cleaning because I don't know if you've ever noticed uh, um, in the Hotel corridors, the cleaners tend to have very big trolleys. So these trolleys have changing towels and sheets and uh, sandals and also mini bar contents. So what this girl used to do, she used to, like the manager was a bit careless. She was just giving, uh, like she was trusting them. She would just give them the key to the store to go and pick the items for the mini bar that they needed. And so they would pick, and this girl, what she used to do, she used to pick um, excess, in excess of uh, what she doesn't need. Like, she would pick and, um, for, the ho- for the hotel room and also in excess. And what was excess, she would not return back to the store, and uh, nobody was following up for accountability. So they used to find way into her house, and... Um, that's how she was able to organize all these big parties. So she used to have all this wine, booze, uh, just name it snacks, you know, mini bars also have snacks, nuts, and all that kind of stuff. So that was what was happening, yeah? So this girl would bring so much booze and snacks and uh, call everybody over to her place and uh, ask uh, the other ladies maybe to cook a few things and bring along and uh yeah so that was just perfect for you guessed it right house party yeah so go go they are all dressed, you know, the other students were all young and broke and a bit envious that she she's able to provide all these free booze and snacks and this music and oh my god and everybody would um, bring all this home food and share and just have fun, have a good time, have fun. So... Yeah, that is how most weekends used to be spent at her place, having fun, drinking, dancing to local music and uh, catching up and things like that. Nobody ever asked her um, 
where she was getting her stuff. Mm-mm. Just used to feel like she was loaded, she had money, and she was able to provide for parties. So, in these parties, um, she, one of her friends, she had one of her friends, a uh, closer friend, that um, we used to attend these parties, obviously. One of your very close friends has to always attend your parties, yeah? So her friend was like, yeah, um, you know, if you could hook me up with a job, maybe even me, I'm, um, I'm reducing my hours. I mean, I'm almost done with my school. I could also like put much more time to work. And maybe even me, I'll be able to have this life because her, she was bowling. She was the envy. Everybody's envy, you know. So yeah, she said, why not? Why not? Um, I'll talk to my manager and then I'll let you know. So she goes to work and talks to her manager like, yo, I have uh, one of my sisters who needs a job. And then uh, the, the, the manager said, no problem. Just bring your sister um and no problem she can we can hire actually the hotel is doing very well we're getting too many guests yeah so the friend got a job and um she started working there she also got close to the manager unfortunately or fortunately this uh girl had already told the friend that she was uh oh she told she showed the friend while at work that this is where i get my items so um this is how to take them over to our bags and take them home. So the friend got to know her secret. So her secret was out. Now, unfortunately for her, her friend um, did or did not like the idea or did not just like the idea of her friend doing it. I don't know what got into her mind, but she went and told the manager and they set her up. They set her up and uh, she was actually caught red-handed just stealing the mini bag whatever and um, she had taken uh, uh, some photos and shared with the manager about her hosting all these parties and giving booze and as you all know yeah she got fired she got fired set up by her friend a very close friend and uh, I don't know if it was from a place of envy, jealousy. I don't know if it was from a place of a point of morals. Because if she did not like what her friend was doing, she would have just told her like, Hey, my friend, I don't like that you're stealing uh, from the hotel. Kindly stop it. And I uh, don't want to be an accomplice or whatever. She just went and uh, set her up and she got fired. And they stopped talking, they stopped being friends. And this girl, of obviously, she had no more <laughs> mini bar uh, supplies to host parties, and she had no money, and she had no job. And she was broke, and she had to eat the humble pie and uh, start looking for jobs again. But unfortunately for her, also, her name in the, in the community had been so much tarnished. People were laughing and making mockery of her. It was bad. Like, when I look back, I'm like, okay, uh, as much as she was stealing, yes, it's, it's morally it's wrong, even before the eyes of God is wrong. But as a friend, why would you go and uh, report her to the manager, even without having a conversation with her, yet she's the one who brought you to the workplace? I mean, like... Uh, I feel like if you're my friend, I should be able to tell you, like, yo, what you're doing is wrong and you need to stop, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't know where your loyalty should lie in your friend, in the hotel. What is the right thing to do? Obviously, I know it's good to tell her not to do it, but they never had that conversation. And that is my point. They never had that conversation. And that's why I call her a snitch. Because you should just be honest, straight up with your friend, like, yo, stop stealing. And anybody who's thinking of doing that or whoever, anybody who's doing that, like stealing, stealing small things from work, please don't. Please don't. It's those small things that get you into trouble. Just, just don't. Just, mm -mm. Go buy yourself coffee. Stop taking from the uh, office. Go buy your own milk. You know? Yeah. 
hope you enjoyed the story thank you guys for watching please remember to share like and subscribe bye, -bye.